Hey Thrak, I gotta tell you this joke. Okay. So a Jewish guy, a Puerto Rican, and a black lady all walk into a bar. That subject matter offends me. Really? Because you're a racist? No, I don't drink alcohol, so the setting offends me. Can I just tell you the joke and you choose not to be offended like an adult? No, because then I'll be offended and I'll spaz out like an epileptic at a rave. I take offense to the term spaz out. I don't care. Okay, so a Jewish guy, a Puerto Rican, I'm offended. Why? I was going to have them walk into a pet store. People with pet allergies would be offended by that. A Jewish guy. Why does it have to be a Jewish guy, Benny? Why can't it ever be a Jewish woman? Your choice to exclude certain peoples already makes the joke offensive to people who are not included. Maybe they don't want to be included in the joke. Are you trying to be politically correct or are you just trolling me? <gasps> Benny, I'm a cyclops. I take offense to being called a troll. Trolls are retarded bags full of Asperger's who deserve to be cornholed. They're dumber than Pollocks, and they smell worse than the Irish. They're just not real people. You are a Cyclops puppet, Thrak. Who made you the authority on what I can and can't tell an imaginary story about? Social media. Because sarcasm and context are hard. A guy walks into a bar. That just perpetuates the stereotype that bars have doors. What kind of room doesn't have a door? A mushroom. But um bum bum it's a pun, Thrak. That joke is offensive to fungi. Fungi don't have feelings. I'm gonna call my fungi friend and find out. Hey Larry! What's up, you guys? Bernie just told a joke about fungi a moment ago and then said that they don't have any feelings. Does that make you feel sad? Nah. I don't care. I tell fungi jokes all the time. It's not my job to police the entire world for every fungi joke ever told, just like it's not my job to represent every fungi in the world, even though it makes me stand out against all non-fungi types, who aren't real people, by the way. Mm. Well, have fun, and try not to be a dick about it. Who the hell was that? See, Benny? You're not allowed to call ever mention anybody or anything to anyone. That's the only way we can safely coexist in a world full of diversity. You're not allowed to call people out on their differences unless it's during a pride parade. Then they get to throw it all in your face and you just sit there while you quietly get alienated. I guess you bring up a valid point, Thrak. Humor is subjective and its consequences should be dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis. You can't just whitewash a world of differences and ignore them, nor hide behind the First Amendment of free speech just like a rotard. It's offensive to use an individual or a group you're not a part of as a punchline, or, or even do an observation without context. Hey, Benny, I'd like to hear your joke now. So a person in a wheelchair rolls into a bar. That's offensive to people who can walk. Tell a different joke! A guy walks into a bar. That's offensive to people who can not walk. A liar, a warlord, and an adulterer all walk into a bar, and the bartender says, Welcome back, Mr. President. I don't get it. Why would the president know a bartender? Okay, fine. Do you like the Avengers? I love that movie! Can I tell you a joke about the characters from the Avengers? No, because I'm a fan of that movie, and that makes me entitled to say what people can and can't talk about that movie, because if they don't like it for the same reasons that I like the movie, I get to whine and bitch about it. I've seen that movie five times, and I still love it. What do you love about The Avengers? I'll try to steer clear of it. I don't know. I never saw the movie. Then why did you just say you like The Avengers? Because Loki is hot. 